let's consider the absolute position vector x of a given point s on a body. The direct kinematics enables to compute, among others, the three components x of this vector as a function first of the generalized coordinates q, which denote the set of all joint coordinates from q1 to qn of the system, and secondly of the geometrical parameters of the model, such as the joint position vectors. For example, with a double pendulum, the absolute coordinates of point S, x, x, and x, z, can be computed from the relative coordinates q1 and q2, knowing length l1 and l2. This provides the following equations of the direct kinematics. Despite the non-linearities of the trigonometric relationships, this computation is straightforward, thanks to the explicit form of these equations. The direct kinematics also deals with absolute rotation quantities. That is to say, first, the rotation matrix R of this body frame with respect to a reference frame here. R is computed as a function of Q. Secondly, the absolute angular velocity vector omega in terms of Q and Q dot. And thirdly, the absolute angular acceleration vector omega dot in terms of q, q dot, and q dot dot. Last but not least, the direct kinematics can provide two essential quantities, the Jacobian matrices, the one related to the absolute velocity v, and denoted j v, and the other one related to the absolute angular velocity omega and denoted j omega. These matrices are of the utmost importance since they represent the mapping from the relative velocities to the absolute velocities. For example, in robotics, it enables to link the joint velocities with the end effector velocity.